today. Um, hopefully, we get I'll be getting the engine out and the gearbox, but um, it's been a, a while since I filmed it. I was going to film yesterday when I was doing this, but I had problems with the camera and space and everything, so now I'm using my old phone. But yeah, I've done a lot, like a lot. Um, as you can see, the engine bay is pretty much bare. I've got the front end off. I got the intake manifold and starting on the exhaust manifold. I got the exhaust off. I've got like they're all the parts that have pretty much gotten off. And some of these over here, like the alternator and power steering pump, aircon. Don't know what these these are called. Please comment below if you know what they're called, because I really want to learn that sort of shit. Um, I've got everything off, like almost my full exhausts off. Probably a good time to double check everything on that, fix up stuff. May even put straight pipes on it after I get my roadworthy. If it depends on how it sounds. Um, but yeah, uh, it's a bit of a mess. It's sort of what I do though. Whenever I take stuff apart, I sort of make a bit of a mess, which is not good. But that's that. Let it go, it's getting sharp 
cannot last But at last I can finally see
stuff because my other phone, other camera, phone, whatever you want to call it, um, died. Don't know when it died, but I'll find out, find out tonight when I'm getting this food. <laughs>
good as the day I met you I forget just why I left you I was insane Stay and play that Blink-182 song That we beat to death in Tucson, okay So, just then when my dad took the gearbox off with the transmission, uh, it's just sat out here for now. If it does rain, it's got so much grease and oil on it that it won't do squat. But, yeah, I'm probably going to also maybe take this off, thread it it up and oh. Does that just pop out mm. just gonna put you down on the bell housing mm. all right I'm gonna have to go to that later but yeah, we took the transmission off and engine bay is out and well engine is out of the engine bay and it looks pretty bare which you'd expect but it's just crazy like in person it looks so weird but yeah we found out that there was another engine mount which I'd missed, which is right down there. It's sort of a pain in the ass to see. Don't even know if that one is one there. Just yeah, to even balance it out even more. But yeah. Oops, oops. It's looking pretty good. Now I'm just gonna be taking the clutch off. And hopefully, all goes well. Yep. Ta -da. happening because that just stripped look at it it just stripped stripped clean so it looks like I might have to Put this down. Put 
believe it's pressure. Yeah, there. Hmm. Well, that just about sums it up. Probably going to end the video right here. Not sure what I'm going to do. Might go over and eat. Haven't eaten since breakfast. And it's now. Three thirty. So. I am going to. Go home and eat. And then come back and. Probably prep up this engine. Get it ready. Get it ready. So, yeah. Pretty much my engine, but with two more cylinders, so this is going to be sweet as. All right. Might even be putting the wheels back on to take it out before that engine goes back in, clean all this crap up out of the way and put it somewhere where it's not in our way. Clean the engine bay out because look at all that. That's just gross. Might just leave it for another time. If I have to do like a clutch or a gearbox, something. Alright, well. Well, that's it. So, please like and subscribe. Comment below. For maybe stuff you want to see. I don't know. Um, uh, please tell me if you like what I'm doing here if I should probably do something else I don't know but yeah like and subscribe and see you guys next episode see it needs to have something to to um, get rid of all the crap and stuff inside of the engine maybe there Marches just to make it move freely, so almost like it is now. And there's this tight spot at the moment, which I don't know what's going on with. Uh, what is...
plug up everything for now. I'm going to do it again when my dad gets back from Miami. All right. All right, so it's probably really wobbly, but um, I ended up getting that plate off. The can't remember what plate it's called. It had a very clutch plate or something behind it. And I'm having trouble getting this last flywheel off, and holy shit, it's hard. I can't get the can't get it to break any of the bolts, like crack them so they like free up and then loosen. So just gonna probably wait until Dad gets back and ask him how he does it, and because he's still just learning all this sort of stuff. All right, so before we move on to the slider do more in the slider do not know probably will all right well get to it probably won't film this though because it's a bit but yeah we'll probably just do some videos on it after but yeah 